thumbs up or thumbs down came from ancient Roman gladiator games. As Uenol wrote in his third satire, these men were once horn blowers in attendance at every municipal arena known as trumpeters in every village. Now they present their own spectacles and to win applause kill whomever the mob gives the thumbs up. Uno is referring to the Roman custom of spectators voting on the fate of the wounded gladiators. You might think a gladiator would appreciate a thumbs up or worse polica. But exactly the opposite is true. Where we give thumbs up as a sign of approval, it meant death to the Roman recipient, much to the delight of the crowd. Thumbs down, signifying swords down, meant the loser was worth more alive than dead. He was spared to make up for his disgrace the next time out. Keep this in mind next time you give someone a thumbs up. Our topsy-turvy interpretation of this custom seems to be the work of the French artist Léon Jérôme. Jérôme understood the Latin "worso" or turned to mean turned down, and thus in his painting of Polocca Worso, he represents the death sentence with a thumbs down gesture. The painting proved so popular that Jérôme's mistake stuck, probably to never be unstuck again. Gladiatorial shows have been traced as far back as 264 BC, but their popularity grew markedly in the late days of the Roman Republic and during the period of the Empire, from about the 1st century BC on. At first, these bloody contests were exclusive to funeral rites, but later they became a feature of all public events and even of some private banquets. The shows were sponsored by the government and put on at public expense. Initially, they were held at the infamous Circus Maximus, Rome's principal stadium for chariot racing. Later, the gladiators were moved into large amphitheaters, and advertisements were posted that listed the combatants' names and trumpeted their past achievements. After a few pro forma spectacles, the gladiators got down to serious business. Whenever a combatant was seriously wounded, the presiding judge was called upon to determine how well he had put up a fight. The judge usually deferred to the pleasure of the audience, who would cheer, applaud, and give the thumbs down if they liked the man, who was then carted off to lick his wounds. But if they gave him a silent thumbs up, his opponent was given the signal to finish him off, and the corpse was then dragged off with a hook.